Nothing too terribly wild on any of them. I think there was like a nice fabric that I got and that's about it. Durable textiles. There's technically somebody who had like, uh, was it the sunset armor? It's got like some Kevlar plates that are 50 or so percent. Yeah, the sunset tactical suit. Seems like maybe possibly worth taking because I don't think I've seen the Kevlar plates too often. We'll go for that. We'll try it out and see. I don't know. Might not even get them. Yeah, we did get them. Excellent. Oh, they're awful shape, though. Okay. It, it was a lie, I guess. <laughs> All right. And then we'd be using the field armor toolkit to repair it. If it was over 10%. Maybe these polyethylene fiber layers, though. I don't know. Just a bit of everything. Hearing, I don't know what the electricity is. Not sure on that. As far as health goes, the Agilent, I think, is wearing off soon. Uh, this respirator, I think, was my respirator, was it not? Do I want this? Do I need this? Do I don't think that'll sell very well. We'll just drop it. Drop it for the sake of space. Mm, 71.2 out of 71.8. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging and sorting here pretty soon down here, I think. A lot of that is going to be like these uh, these weapon mods and stuff like that. I, I don't think they're really hugely worth carrying. And things like Buckshot, especially the old stuff, definitely not worth carrying. I could maybe create a stash down here. At least just for like temporary depoting of stuff if I really need to, since we do get the bag back afterwards. I didn't know we did. Could be... Maybe worth it. That's it. This is uh I kinda remember really just kinda though remember this area. Psh, leather boots. Probably pass, but hey, improvised stim pack. That's handy. Very fast, nice heal. Makes you hungry though, I think, right? Is that the thing? Something like that. And details on this, not really hugely worth it. Enjoy. The PDA, though. I'll look into that. God, if I can find it. Is it you? <laughs> stash, stash, stash. They're coming after you. Wants a pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes from me, Marlboro. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. Don't come back empty-handed, or you're dead to me. Again. Oh. It's just a- it's just a J. Baited. Oh, yeah, I made you look at the message. <laughs> okay. Whatever. If I can get away with the light off, kind of, sort of. if I can get the jump on people, that'd be just excellent. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say that's not worth going down for. So we got that. We've got... Off to the left I came from. This stairs up. There's nothing? Okay, seems to just be nothing there. And then off to the side here where I'm hearing the electricity, I think. Oh, there we go, there's, there's that. Um... I want to say there was a trick to that, but... Man, I don't remember. I think it was like throwing a bolt to activate it because that deactivates it temporarily and then you can move through. I don't really remember though. We're not going to mess with it. The zone poses moral danger. We're here to protect you from the zone, not the zone from you. Do not jeopardize your life. 
do not try to penetrate into the secured area. Mm hmm. Does this lead out or? Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. It didn't even ask. Down the spirally stairs. I'm having another memory. Why do I remember this? Why do I remember this hallway? Oh, I don't like this at all. Right. What are we doing down here exactly? Straylock's hideout in the underground for clues to his whereabouts. Just somewhere down here, I guess. Tell you what, it's a pretty good spot for a hideout, man. It's nowhere anybody wants to be. Dude, just the worst. I wonder, have I ever gotten anything from those? I wonder if maybe those just don't, <laughs> don't have anything in them in Anomaly. don't know what that means. <laughs> There's not enough stuff around for it to be a poltergeist around here. What is that? Man, not while I'm looting. Oh, that, like, actually was terrifying. <sighs> Alright, money. Uh, sure. Cool. I'm just, like, in the middle of the loo window and I see at the corner of my eye one of these dudes shambling up to me. He's, like, Psy Zombies or something? It claims just a zombie, but, uh, yeah, hey, I don't know about that, man. All right. I, I guess that's that.
Walkie talkie. Got a vent thing down here. Doesn't go anywhere. A ladder. Bullets. In an environment like this, kind of screams poltergeist to me a little bit. There's stuff for them to throw around. My flashlight. Is that getting low? I don't know why it's flickering. So this is the other end of the first hallway then. Right. So what's here? Ah. Ah. Mm. All right, I think that's like a way forward proper. We've got nothing. And I assume this is just like another way outside. No. This is the hideout, I think. This is looking like a hideout. Rope. Okay, well, hey, we found something in one. There's at least that. The shovel in a jewelry box. The door of nothing. The backpack with... Worn notebook. Likely owned by Strelak himself. Describes a detail how to get into an underground complex called X-18. Sigh. Uh, food? Raisins? A vice I can't use? Um... Military documents? The journal. Use that. Oh. That's just straight up gone now, huh? Sorry. Straight locks notebook. Rather disjointed and cryptic notes. Seems the stalker had a crisis about an important decision he had made a few years ago and wanted to quickly resupply a real stock before pushing north to verify his choices. Okay. Two row stock, then, I guess. We're going to. Why are we 76? Oh, yeah, the shovel and rope is probably. Yeah, no, that's, that's quite heavy. We're gonna drop both of those. Military documents didn't weigh anything, the notebook barely weighs anything. Mm, I don't really know why we're. So heavy. Plastic film. Okay. Can I sleep in the bed? <sighs> Man. Alright. So technically we're good to go. I don't have to be here anymore. And you know what? I'm kind of okay with it. I'm... A bit full up and our, we've actually got like some proper tiredness too, so my vision's getting a bit blurry for a few different reasons here and eh. Eh. 
I'd, I'd be okay with leaving. I don't know how bad the vision blurring gets. I might poke forward a little bit more and see what there is to see. Perhaps while I'm here that I never have to come here ever again. You know what? I'm having the ration. It's point two. There we go. Done. And then a bit of thirst. Having one of those too. Alright. Finally, that first ration that we started with is empty. Oh hey, a bedspread. Could I, like, actually sleep here if I wanted to, then? No. Oh. Sleeping bag and a bedspread. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we can hang on to it, though. Fine. A lot of memories. A lot of, like, half memories, though, just to make it a little bit worse. Not seeing or hearing anything, though. Like, it is oddly kind of chill here, aside from those two zombies. But those were, like, different zombies, man, because I don't think normal zombies give you that, like, weird side chirp sound. And I don't think they yellow your vision, either. I'm fairly certain we should be getting, like, a controller soon? Or a poltergeist? On the plus side, however, it seems that these might all link together, so it doesn't really matter which one you go down straight away. We're getting radiation chirps from these, uh, these big things here, but, uh... Not actually getting the symbol on the left side, which tells me that our radiation protection is actually... ...pretty okay. Mostly thanks to the new helmet. Because I think the respirator... The respirator gave me a little bit, but this is giving me quite a bit more. On top of the ballistic resistance. Yeah, I don't... Long hallways like that, I... Um, hmm. Don't know, man. Don't know, man. <laughs> um, bullets... There is something around. No. No. Controllers. Hey, he took me down quick. Where'd he come? He was behind me? I don't know how you were behind me. Do you just spawn in or something? <laughs> I think... I think you do. God, they play that awful whistling sound. I hate that high pitch sound. Yeah. 
outrageous. I must have had like a toe sticking out or something. You just spurt it through apparently, it doesn't even uh... Oh god! Not a controller this time. Did it? Did I get it? Oh. All right. Sci sucker skin. Weight carried electrical resist, reduced burn resist by a bunch. Psychic resist plus twenty-eight. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. I thought running I thought I would like kind of just like run up, get the yellow, huck a grenade behind me and keep running. But alright. So what, instead of the side dog for 17%. Take that off and get on. Some Psy Sucker skin. 28% resistance. Alternatively... Because I don't know... I don't know if that's a lot of resistance or not. Because it doesn't really update. It doesn't really update down there. This also gives us a little bit though, this, uh, this hide... or fur, and that'd be even more Psychic Resist. Gives us just a little touch of it there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that exactly. There. We're bleeding, by the way. Ouch. <sighs> Alright. Fine. Uh, another backpack? Oh, hey! A uh, compression bag. Nothing for me, I guess. That leads out. This might be... Where are we? This might be down by the military complex, actually. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, this, this one might lead me to the military complex or something. Bit of a rude way to pop up and say hello. <laughs> I guess up m more? I don't know if it keeps going up a lot more, actually. If I remember right... Oh, uh, it does keep going up more. Okay. I was gonna say, if I remember right, the series is just broken at some point, but I might be thinking of a kind of similar monolith structure. Our tiredness is getting... A little bit extreme. We could try to make it to that bed. There's also another bed up there that we could apparently use. I have no idea what this even is, though. It's like some shack in the middle of nowhere. By the bedrock claws anomaly. Because that leads us up to Yantar. I think I'd like rather try and see if we can manage that. Okay, let's go for it. Cause we need bed. We're uh, we're yellow tiredness now. I think pretty soon our vision is gonna get quite a lot blurry, and we start being able to really make out details anymore. With it coupled being nighttime, it's just, the visibility is like negative ten. Awful. I can't see anything already. Where are we exactly? Yeah. Okay. Don't want nothing to do with it. 
But yeah, I guess we had... I guess we head to that shack. Guess. Can't imagine it being very safe. It's not like a proper close. It really looks like on the map it's just like a shack next to what used to be a lake. Yeah, this is us here. This is the bedrock claws anomaly and. Hey, yeah, alright. Anything going on? Yes. I don't know if I can... Can I even reach that? <laughs> that's not bolts. That's grenades. Oh, no, that's just part of a tree. It looked like an artifact thing. Okay, maybe there's nothing here. At least nothing this detector is picking up. And this is... No way this is where we sleep. This isn't shelter or anything. Okay, yeah, no, this is just some, like, observation post or something, I guess. Because I don't really want to just be sleeping out in the middle of nowhere, because with the frequency that we get for the emissions and all that, they'd probably kill us in the middle of the night. I don't know how it handles that. If we just die because it's like, oh, an emission occurred while you were sleeping, rip. Or maybe we wake up because we smelled an emission coming and it's like, oh, you better hurry. I don't know, man. Is this... We call in this home? Is this shelter? Will this protect me from a storm? <laughs> it's just some rotten wood on top of a bunch of acid anomalies. Okay, hey, I'll try it, you know. We'll give it a go. We'll take, like, something of a bit of a nap, I guess. 